Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon, an edutainer here at IT Pro TV, and I'm your host for our series. In this episode, we're going to look at how you can add more than one user to a chat, creating essentially a chat group. Let's take a look at Teams and see how we can do that. When we see Teams is open, we see we're already in the chat area. And I'm going to zoom in so we can see where we are specifically. On our navigation bar, I've selected the chat icon, and I've got a series of recent chats available to me, along with some suggested users that I may want to reach out and have a chat with. And I'm going to use the Cherokee Jones chat that we spun up in our last episode to be able to add some users in and create a chat group. So as I highlight Cherokee Jones as a recent chat user or participant, and I move over, I can see in the workspace area here on the chat tab, I got to go all the way over because our chat was really small, just a couple of words here, and it's sitting right over here. I could see the beginning of our chat, the hello there message. I see the indicator shows that it was sent, but Cherokee hasn't looked at it yet. That indicator hasn't changed to an I that shows me that she's seen it. So we'll hope that'll happen at some point. But what I can do and what I'm interested in is actually use this icon right up here. This one that I'm hovering over where it says add people. It's all the way in the corner and you'd almost miss it because when I move away from it, it's not highlighted, not dark blue or purple like these are. It's just kind of sitting there, you know, innocently minding its own business. But you can see I can add people. So when I click on that, I can add using either an email, a name, or a tag if I have created tags for users. So let's go ahead and let's try to add one of the users in our Teams app here to this chat and see if I can extend it out. So I'm gonna start typing and I'm gonna type in Wes. And sure enough, I have two users that have the letters W and E in them, the Wes Bryan user and the Wes Conference Room user. So let's take the Wes Conference Room user, we'll add that in. And let's say I want to add one more at the same time. I can add one or multiples as long as I keep adding unique users. Let's add the Wes Bryan user as well. I'm going to click add and put both of them in. Let me just zoom back out. And what you will now see, if we take a look here, is that my Cherokee Jones chat right there has Cherokee and Wes and it says plus two because I have two elements there and they're not all being displayed. Uh, I have now extended this to make a group chat. It says draft because I haven't sent a message out yet right above the original one that I was using. The names up here are displayed and we can see their status. The icon is also different and shows that there are three people in this chat. And you'll notice that the chat is brand new. I'm starting a new conversation, creating a brand new group that allows me to have this chat with other people. So I can begin by building on one of the individual chats that I had, and I can add people in to incorporate the first person I was chatting with and create a brand new group from there. Or I can simply start a new chat and just add people in and not have that beginning person. It's really up to me to decide how I want to do that. But ultimately, I have to begin with at least one person and then add more people in along the way. So I can type my first message or type a message here, whatever it may be. Keep using the same message over and over again in every one of these episodes. And maybe I'll put a little sticker in here this time. And let's put in our cat sticker. And I can put a bottom and a top caption in if I want to. And so for top caption, let's put in, <clears throat> I am, whoops, let's just do I am, and for the bottom, excited. Ever wonder how you get those memes with all that kind of writing on it, how people create them? Well, now you can see how they do that in Teams. So I'm going to click Done, and you can see that I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to send that. And now that has gone off. It's being sent, and it's now sent to all three people that were added to this chat group. So I've added in uh, two or three, or perhaps as many as I need to, to be able to create a group chat. Now this may be very important for you if you've got to collect a bunch of people together, kind of broadcast out a message to them one time, yeah, that's good. But the idea here is the chat is persistent, meaning this chat group is now going to be available. And any of the members of this group can interact with all the members by just continuing to send and receive messages in this group. So it is almost like 
creating a distribution list in Microsoft Outlook. If you're familiar with that, where you've got a list of users that you want to be able to send email to and have everybody on the list get the email, and it's just a time-saving device. So the chat group is identical to a distribution list in Microsoft Outlook, except now everybody can interact directly. We don't have to keep recreating this chat group, just like we don't have to create a distribution list beyond the first time we use it. As long as we keep it and we don't delete it, all the members of the group will continue to get the messages when they're sent. So it's a great time-saving device for us and one that hopefully will make a lot of sense for you. I'll be back with additional episodes covering other topics soon, but until then, happy teaming. Check out the playlist for more Microsoft Teams tips and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon, and thanks for watching.